afternoon. Um, this is a video I thought I'd do for new cigar smokers. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I'd think about what cigars I enjoyed smoking when I first started smoking cigars. And also since uh, I've smoked quite a few cigars now, <laughs> just a few, um, and I thought that I would take the time to think about the ones that I would I, I liked when I was a new cigar smoker, but that I still like now, because as you progress through cigar smoking, um, you will find that things that you once liked when you started off, you no longer like. The further you get into cigar smoking, um, and you might your palate changes, you try stronger, you try more complex cigars, and you decide what you like and what's good for you. And ultimately, no one can tell you what's a good cigar. They can tell you what's a good constructed, a well, sorry, a well constructed cigar. Uh, who are good manufacturers? What are you know machine made? Perhaps a little bit more uh, lower quality cigars. Um, but they all have their purpose, and everybody likes different things. So I'm going to give you my five cigars for new cigar smokers. So the first one, and I have reviewed, uh, I think, all of these cigars. So the first one is the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number two. Now this is Cuban cigar, uh, Robusto size cigar. Um, lovely, beautiful, creamy notes, light, mellow profile, um, and a joy to smoke. I would say this, um, for a new cigar smoker, will give you everything you want. It's not too complex, it's not too heavy, and beyond anything else, it's a joy to smoke. And people who um, are still, have been smoking cigars for a long time, will still say that this is a very good cigar um, that will enable you to start your Cuban journey, if that's the way you wish to go. Um, so there we go. Hoyo de Monterey, Epicure number two and number one. So the second cigar that uh, I would highly recommend, not very well known. This is the El Rey del Mundo, and I'm pretty sure it's called the Chua Supreme. Um, the guy in JJ Fox the other day called it that, so I've been calling it the Choice Supreme for donkey's years, but then I am <laughs> a ruffian when it comes to some cigars. So again, similar size to the uh, Epicure, slightly longer, I think it's a different cigar size, I'd have to look it up, but it's a Robusto size cigar, it's around that size, so it's nice. There's lots of complex little flavours in there, but they're all light notes. Um, again, the guy in Foxes was talking about green tea and all sorts of stuff, but it is a very, very pleasant cigar to smoke. Light on the flavours, not too complex compared to others. Um, and another good one. I would perhaps go with the Epi 2 first and then go on to this. I like these sizes of cigars. They're not too big, they're not too skinny, you feel like you're smoking a cigar, you feel like uh, someone from The Sopranos or uh, you know a mobster movie. Okay, so that's the top first two. This is in no particular order really, just how it comes. My next one which is odd for me because I'm not a big lover of Monte Cristo, but I do think these are good as a cigar to start with. So this is Monte Cristo number four, a Petit Corona sized cigar, or around that sort of size. Um, what you'll find with Monte Cristo is it pleases a lot of people. The profile of this cigar, again, is not particularly strong, mild to medium, um, and with sort of uh, deep notes of coffee and bits and pieces like that. If you get aged ones, they can be very, very good. But with a year on them, they are uh, a good little smoke. Cheap pickup as well, they're not particularly expensive. Um, once you hit the Robustos, they go up a little bit more in price. So Monte Cristo number four, I would say. Good one, it was the first cigar I ever reviewed on YouTube, and you can see that right back at the beginning uh, when I didn't really know what I was doing much. Um, perhaps I still don't, but there we go. Um, so I would rec recommend this. If you're watching this video in the USA, you know you can pick these cigars up um, online, or there are loads of people in the states that smoke Cuban cigars. Let's be honest. Um, or you know try and go to Cuba. I think you, you're not quite banned yet. 
again I don't know what's going on anyway um, but you can get these or if you know someone that's coming to the UK pick them up or a country that sells Cuban pick a couple up take the bands off who's gonna know so my fourth cigar uh, this is in the in, in a cellophane because it's a non-Cuban and this is the Hoya uh, Hoya de Nicaragua the Hoya Red okay so this is uh, another Robusto size um, but if you want to start looking at what they call New World Cigars, so non-Cuban cigars, this one obviously is from Nicaragua. Um, this is a relatively mild cigar, nothing compared to the two Cuban Robustos in regards to the flavour profiles. But I like them, I think they're a pretty good everyday smoke, but they are a quality cigar. That's the thing you've got to remember. This is comes from an established brand. Hoya been going a long time since they sort of, uh, in the 70s I think they were very prevalent as Nicaragua was seen as the new uh, new area of cigars. Um, if you go to Amsterdam, highly recommend Cigaragua, which is the cigar store there that only does Nicaraguans. You can get lots of different versions of these. Um, so yeah, the Hoya Red Robusto comes in several different sizes. They do a slightly shorter one, which is quite as good. But I feel this is a good size for smoking and uh, enjoyment of the cigar. Again, slightly little sort of coffee chocolate notes in this one. Nothing too complex, just right for a beginner. So my last cigar is one of my favorite non-Cubans. It comes from one of my favorite non-Cuban brands. It is the Arturo Fuente Short Story. Uh, uh, Arturo Fuente have this range of Hemingway cigars, so they're all named after books. So you've got the bestseller, the um, work of art, all sorts of things. So this is the short story. Uh, and what I like about this, compared to all the others, is it's a Perfecto cigar. You will see I've done a review of this. Um, but it's pointed at the end, so you only light this little bit on the end and puff away and eventually it draws in. Um, I think they're very consistent, good, quick smoke. But again, ideal for a beginner. They're not too strong. They have just the right amount of flavor for a new cigar smoker. Um, and I highly recommend them. Everyone who says to me, well, what do you think is a good cigar? And I'd say, this is a good non-Cuban cigar. If you're in the States or um, not in the UK, you can pick them up relatively cheap. They're still on the more expensive end of non-Cubans compared to the Joy Red. If you go to Cigaragua or somewhere in Europe that sells them, these are about five euros, so what's that? About four quid. Uh, in the States, about they're about five bucks in the States. So it depends what the conversion rate is. But this will be more expensive. This will be nearer the $10 mark um, in the States. So, But I highly recommend these. And I'll tell you to produce some fantastic cigars. Dominican uh, Republic, this one is from. And uh, yeah, it's very good. So there you go. Um, those are my uh, top five cigars for new cigar smokers. So there's my top five. Um, all those cigars I have reviewed and I will try and pop little cards in uh, to the reviews as you're watching this video. So I hope that's given you some idea of where to start on your cigar journey. And if uh, like me, you'll find that uh, nearly 10 years later, you're still smoking cigars and still finding new things to enjoy uh, about the cigar world. So uh, from me to you, thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative and I will see you for the next review. Take care.